I have Brian from Pure Pyrex again. So beautiful sunny day in the beginning of June. Uh, we're up here in Port Rush where we have a wee holiday home. And Port Rush is a great place because it's also an extra opportunity for me to display Pyrex. So if you ever see any of the other videos where I talk about having stuff but I don't have it here or if I film up here and I say the same thing, it's because of our main house in Belfast. But uh, we're in Port Rush at the moment. So because I found these couple pieces um, last weekend, I thought I would do something I've been kind of wanting to do, and that is to show all the bits and pieces of American Pyrex that we have and that we've sort of picked up over the years. Now, American Pyrex is really vast. There are like tons and tons and tons of patterns, if you Amer American viewers would know and collectors. Um, so we have very little. We have little pieces here and there, just examples, you know. Um, most of them we picked up here, but a few of them we picked up when we were on holiday in America as well. Bought some over there and brought back in, in the suitcases and stuff. So I'm just going to start and go down. You probably know all the patterns if you're an American anyway, but I'll just go through them really quick. So this one here I found, these two I, I actually found on holiday and this salt pepper shaker here. Oh, and this butter dish. So all these little pieces here we brought back from a trip uh, from a holiday to America. We've got them all in Oregon. So uh, barbed wire here from the late 50s is a promotional dish. Um, don't have the lid for that. This, this one's called Early American here. It's another divided uh, oval dish, divided dishes. Um, there was something about barbed wire, what was that? Can't remember. Anyway, 1958, this one's from the early 60s, the barbed wire, I think 61 or something like that. Uh, this one here is called Old Town Blue. And it's very similar. We have a pattern over here called um, brown, brown Vine or something. And uh, it's a very similar pattern to that. It's almost the same. So salt and pepper shakers, we use these here for salt and pepper. So I have that. Uh, here I have a butterfly gold um, butter dish, which I really love. And then we have these by Jimco. It's a company that did carry on the butterfly gold style pattern um, to match the earlier butterfly gold. Um, it's a Corel company called Jimco, I believe. And pick, actually, these are an online purchase I got. So I got them really cheap. Um, that's why I bought them. But because we have this. And it actually has the little, uh, the little spoon as well. I think that's the original spoon that comes with it. But I'm, just, I'm not positive about that. But I think it is. Okay. So moving down here. That's Butterfly Gold. These ones are called um, Old Orchard. And those are from the early 70s. And... This is part of a Cinderella bowl set, two, only two of the, there would be four of them. So you have your, your big one would have no pattern on it. The second size down would have a pattern on it like this. And then the third one would be like that. And then the smallest one would have a pattern. That's how they worked with that. Okay, um, this one we picked up here as well. That is called Spring Blossom. They did a couple versions of Spring Blossom. That's a Spring Blossom Green one, I believe. And this great big one, they call it Big Bertha. It's a big, like, five quart or something like that size. And I think it would have had a glass lid, too, with a, with a handle on it. But don't, it, that didn't come with it. Okay, the last two down there also picked up here, just in, in different places. Um, e Homestead, I think, is the bottom one. I think that's what that's called. And I was reading about it, and there are a couple versions of it. That, um, that's, like, the earlier one that has speckles on it and the blue. Um... They did, a little later, they didn't have the speckles. It was just a brownie background, I believe. And then the top one, I can't, Colonial Mist, I think that one's called. Yeah. And I do have the lid for that one too, but just because we have a plant in it. So anyway, this is part of our American collection. When I get back to Belfast later, I'm going to do another bit of the stuff we have up there. And I'll put the two together and put the video out. So I'll see you back here in a minute. Hiya. Okay, we're back in Belfast now. So... I managed to collect together all our bits and pieces of Pyrex, U.S. Pyrex, from our uh, small collection of U.S. stuff. And I've kind of arranged things out here in um, date order the best I can manage. So um, I'll start off here at the left again. So this bowl, this was actually a gift. You can see this in another video that I did earlier about bowls. Um, but this is very early, mid-40s one. Um, you know that because it doesn't have the actual size stamping on it. It has an earlier uh, reg um, patent registration stamp on the bottom of it. 
So that's mid 40s, and this would be called cut part of a colored what's called the colored bowl set, which later became known as primaries later in America. Okay, that was a gift from my sister-in-law Christine to me. Okay, this one here was another gift they got from my, from my mother. Thanks, mom. Um, this is called a part of a hostess set. And it would have had four little small square bowls to go with it. This is a one, one and a half quart size hostess set. And this is from the early 1950s. Okay, moving on down here. This one, uh, we brought this one back from America. And now I know I said before that we brought back stuff in our suitcases, and we, which we did a little bit. But I remember now that we actually, some of the stuff we bought, we packaged up and posted over back home. So it, was, it came in a little bit later after we got back home. So this is one of them I found, and this is called Golden Acorn. And this one, I believe, is from the early 1960s. Um, actually, 1960 itself. And this is a one and a half quart size, I believe. Deep oval. Beautiful wee dish. Really, really nice. Okay, moving on down here. This pattern is called Terra. Now, this is a really interesting pattern. Actually, I think it's my favorite U.S. pattern. It's only a two-year only, 1964 and 65. Um, has this sort of brown with gold rings and things on white glass. And this little one-pint casserole here. Um, I was reading about Terra and how expensive it was to make. That's why they only made it for two years, because it turned out to be really super expensive to manufacture it. And uh, the cups in this pattern I really love. I want a set of those cups. They're just straight up and down. They have no handles on them. Really, really neat and really modern looking. So that's Terra pattern for you. Okay, moving on down here, one we found here, and just a one-off little Cinderella mixing bowl in the daisy, yellow daisy pattern. Um, what year? 60s? Mid-60s? 68 maybe? Can't, can't remember now. Nice pattern. I'd love to have the whole set of those. Daisy pattern. Okay, moving down here to these clear glass ones. So, the cool thing about these, the vinegar and oil set, the bigger ones in the back here, I saw those in ads from the mid-1950s. And the salt and pepper shakers, these ones we got in America. It's part of the stuff we brought back from America. And uh, these, they started making this shape of salt and pepper shakers, I believe, in the early 1970s. And they did, like you saw the other set that we have up in Port Rush, the white one. Um, but I've also seen a pack packaged together in what's called a salad set, the vinegar and oil and the salt and pepper shakers together. So that I think they kept, up, kept on with this shape of the vinegar and oil ones for quite a while. And they might not be exactly the same, but they, look, they do look the same, similar shape. So anyway, so mid-50s, right up into the 70s for the vinegar and oil, and then the uh, little salt and pepper shakers from the early 70s. Okay, so we managed to get sets of cups as well. I put one of each out here just to show. And uh, these are all from the early 70s. Well, these first two are the blue... Uh, Blue Snowflake, or Garland as they call it, in 1972 I think it started. And then this one here would match our little salt and pepper shakers that we have in Port Rush, and that's called um, Old Town Blue, and that again from 1972. I think that one ran a little bit later, 78 or something. And then this one's called Woodland, and that's a little bit later, uh, the mid-70s I think that one came out. Okay, so skip these for now. This is the last um, of the white glass I'm going to show, and this is called Autumn uh, Autumn Harvest. And there's a whole video on this. One of our early, early videos is just on this pattern. So go back and check that out on our YouTube channel. So now bought back to these ones. Uh, our very last day of our trip, one of our last trips in America, uh, I think we were in San Jose or something at a big uh, kitchenware Sort of a place in a big mall so where they had a whole range of really cool uh, modern pyrex and they had these really neat little with the cats on them and i wanted to get some modern stuff so and now they do a whole range of the ones in this shape with all kinds of patterns on them so if you're a collector of modern stuff you can get everything from like star wars figure ones uh everything you name it there's hundreds of them maybe or maybe not hundreds but there's definitely a lot all different patterns in that and they're all kind of limited. They do them for a year or two, and then they, then they stop and move on to new ones. And then I just picked up a little measuring cup because I had the, 
It was the 100 year anniversary. I think we were there in 2016, but they still had this. So I bought that one just to have as a little memento for 100 years of, of the American Pyrex company. Anyway, so I've ran you through all our American collection. So if anybody wants to add to it, they can send it to me. Thanks.